Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So, a box has just been delivered. I just literally finished um, doing one of my videos and this arrived. So I thought, oh, let's open it and have a look together. I think I know what's in it. Uh, there might be oops, an extra thing in it as well, but uh, let's get into it and have a look. thought you'd possibly like to see what other shopping I get as well. Or possibly not. No. <laughs> I think there's some toothbrushes in it, but that's about all. Okay. So I've been using coupons again. Da 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 da. So, oh, yeah, that's my uh, toothbrush. I think that's my toothbrushes. Let me just double check. Uh, yeah, I've been using my Vipon cords again. And we needed some new toothbrush heads. And there was something like £5, something silly like that for it. Uh, well, the fake R will be toothbrush heads. So... Oh, yeah, they are. So, yeah, I've got my 16 toothbrush heads for just over £5. So, yeah, that's good. Needed those. Okay. And this is a pack of six diamond paintings. Look at that. So, that is the store name. They're from Amazon. <laughs> And that is the store that they're from. And that is one of the most amazing names I've ever seen. Um, I'm not even going to try and pronounce it because I would probably offend somebody or say something rude. But wow, look at that. Imagine answering the phone and having to pronounce that every time. Goodness me. Yeah, so anybody that can pronounce that extra points to you because that is a real wow name. Goodness me. Okay. It reminds me, do you remember that Pepsi advert where it started off lip smacking, coke, drinking, something, 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 and it went on for ages and then it said Pepsi at the end. It just reminds me of that advert. Oh dear, if you started pronouncing that and saying hello, so and so, 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 my name is, how can I help you? Do you think people are rung off by then? <laughs> that is just amazing wow so i've taken these out of the outer plastic bag because it did take me ages to open the flipping thing uh it's just like these bags you know where you can't find the end of them i'm sure they do it on purpose just to slow you down so because there's six i think i'm going to do it into two or three and then uh, it's not going to make the video too long because i know sometimes unboxing videos you like to just see them a little bit smaller let me know in the comments if you'd prefer a longer opening video or two smaller ones let me know personal preference i know so we'll take those three out of the way and we'll have a look at these three okay so first one and um, i have had a quick look at this one because i do think it's one that i've already opened and um, if you remember my mystery just put my labels out the way i've got them uh, as well while i was just faffing shall we say uh, when I got my mystery box of 10 paintings, I got two the same. And I think it was this one that I got. So, yeah. Um, I'll dig the painting out and we'll have a look in a second and see if it is the same one or not. So, oh, oh, that's quite a good toolkit. Okay, that's uh, definitely one up from the basic. So we've got your wax. We've got your, that looks like it's a three placer possibly. We've got um, a pen grip, a pen squishy, and oh, could be 10 uh, little grip seal bags there, so that's quite handy. I do go through quite a lot of these because while I'm doing my um, special drill paintings, I do put the drills into these bags and then I de kit them into my storage afterwards. And then you just your pink pen, so hmm, okay, that's quite a nice little drill kit there right so let's just flatten this out a bit and have a look at this canvas they have got a little bit crinkled on the edge where they've been squished into that bag all six of them i think it's just but that will flatten out and it's not affecting the actual drill area at all so let's just give it oh it's got to flatten oops it's very sticky as well it's just grabbed hold of my hand and wanted to say hello there you just flatten this plastic out on top it does tend to help them flatten down a little bit as well and oh it's not a very good cut edge there is it that looks like my cutting look <laughs> if you saw my uh, recent framings and putting away my um 
used used my completed um paintings do you know my brain has gone today maybe i shouldn't have started this today should i say that on all of them as well oh dear how not to diamond paint 101 for at least how isn't <laughs> how not to make youtube videos one-on-one -on -one from liz harrison all right so that's just help that flatten out a little bit more uh it says it's a 30 by 40 and you know my little scotty dog um tape measure has absolutely vanished i've still got my little stapler which is a scotty dog which i love that came from paper chase but look at that little face everything's scotty dog in this house um, so I'm going to have to use hot pink ruler for measuring. Bum -bum. So I think we'll find though, because it says it's 30 by 40, it's a poured glue. Um, it's one of the budget friendly kits and you tend to find you, you lose about five centimetres. So, oh, this one's 24 centimetres that way. And we'll just measure the one because unless I find my tape measure uh, up to 30 there so yeah and it's about 34 so it's roughly a 24 by 34 canvas uh, drill area sorry my brain is definitely not working today i'm tired um hubby's had his chemotherapy so yeah i'm uh, i'm meeting myself coming backwards and i'm tired today so if i start dropping things as well i've got a really good excuse because i do tend to drop things when i'm tired Okay, so we have 24 colours and we have a key code at both sides and it looks like it is all capital letters and it doesn't look like there's going to be anything that's going to give me any problems. We do have an O, there's an OQ, we've got a P and an R but they are quite different colours and one is um, black letter and one is white letter so that's good. And it's quite a clear drill field. This does feel better quality than the uh, ones that I got in the mystery painting set. So I must get that painting out and we'll have a look. Okay, we'll have a quick look at the drills. See what these are. Okay. Now then, these have got DMC cards on. So we've got DMC codes on the drills as well, which is quite unusual for a budget friendly kit, which hmm, like that. We've got your canvas on as well and the canvas number is on here. So that's always really helpful um, so that if your drills get separated from your canvas, you know which kit they belong to. And I do write that down in my log book and I do write it down on my stickers as well. So, yeah, I've got extra chances of not losing them. So it looks like 3865 is the main background, but it is quite, there are a lot of different colours in this background. And there's no training wheels on this either, which, uh, yeah, quite impressed with this. This looks like a really nice uh, drill field. Okay, so um, we've got a dark grey there, and that's a nice colour. That's like a Wedgwood blue, Wedgwood china blue there. Okay, let's have a look at these. And, oh, look at all these lovely lilacs and purples and mauves and any other colour you can think that is purple. <laughs> and greys and fawns and, oh, look at that real deep purple there. It's like a royal purple. And sagey greens and stony colours and fawn. And that's a nice dark navy blue there. And that one is 939, yep, that's your real dark blue. And a very off sort of mauve colour. And another nice greeny, sage, like a sage green colour. And like a very pale maroony, purpley colour. So I like the colours on that one, that's good. I can't <laughs> They're alive, they're alive. Okay, let's see if we can get these back in this little packet. Okay, and grab a label to put on it. So we have, let me call this one, Pear, purple butterfly. It's not going to fit on. Purple butterfly. 
beautiful I can't read my writing 30 by 40 30 by 40 shop I am just going to put Amazon because <laughs> I cannot write out that name of that shop that is just amazing that oh, I don't think I've well I've never shopped with them before but I'll certainly remember them um, and I always like to write next to um, whether it's round, square or special, how many colours there are. The cost, I'm going to put £1.30 because I think that's probably about all it was. And then I'm going to put the canvas number, which is ZYDZ872. My writing is particularly bad today. My eyes are bad today. Okay. And then one goes on the canvas and one goes on the drills. And then I put all my drills in. I've got a diamond painting uh, box that uh, I keep all my drills in and they're all organised into folders and one on the canvas. Now, let me just see if I can find that other painting and we'll compare them. Ooh, okay. Blooming heck, look at the difference in that. I'll just move those two out of the way a minute. That is way different. Eek. You wouldn't think, it's, it's not, well, it is really the same picture, isn't it? The flowers are in the same place. But look at that compared to that. So I'm just wondering, is this the picture printed? Yeah, I think this is then the difference between the new where they print the canvas, well, print the picture, and then they overlay the symbols, numbers, letters on top of the picture so you get like a, a more fluid picture whereas this is pixel printed goodness me you wouldn't think it would be the same would you and yeah so that is the difference between a picture printed and a pixel printed and you know, this has words on it and they've taken them off this one you're awesome, I think that said. I think, or it said you are awesome. Something like that on that. But that is definitely the same picture. But yeah. So actually, it will be interesting to see how these compare. Oh no, not another comparison, Liz. Ah! But I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. It will go on the list. It may not get done for a few months, but it's going to go on the list to see how this one compares to this one when they're actually done. Strictly speaking, they should be the same. Now that is closer up. We've got the wing cut off here. Um, I suppose that's more that way. This looks more, like, more blown out. It's definitely very pixelated, but that does look more blown out as though it's been a smaller picture blown up. Whereas this does look more like a picture and the symbols on this you know, I can't read those at all, whereas I can read all these symbols. And this one only has 23 colours and this one has 24. So that is going to be an interesting one to do. Yeah, because I mean, really, it doesn't particularly matter what the picture looks underneath because you're covering it over with drills. And particularly if this was, say, a square canvas, you wouldn't see any of the picture at all. So it doesn't matter how pretty this looks or how bad this looks as long as the drills go on it and it looks okay then you should still get the same effect yeah okay and i have got two of these as well so okay that is going to be very different to do so say I've, I've looked at canvases and thought oh yeah this is a a picture printed where they printed the picture and it looks really really pretty um and you can see you don't need to look at the thumbnail and then I've had ones that are the pixel printed where it's all in little squares and that's where you're going to put uh, your drills and some of them you really do need to look at the thumbnail to see what the picture is. This is quite clear. Some of them aren't. But yeah, that, that is quite um, staggering to see the difference. Wow, I hope you can see the real difference in this. There's no detail on this, but as I say, it doesn't really need it because you're going to be covering it over. Mm. This is going to be interesting. Okay. 
let me know what you think. Have you noticed any difference in picture printing and uh, pixel printing? Let me know in the comments down below. Right, so that's those all nice and uh, bagged up and ready to go. Okay, so let's get into the next one. These are a little bit different for me, um, flowers. I'm not really... Well, I, I love flowers. I really do love flowers. I'm definitely... You know, somebody buys me flowers. Oh, this is tough to get out. Goodness me. It's definitely a fighting back, this one. It's got cosy in its little plastic bag and it don't want to come out. Um, yeah, I love flower flowers. You know, if somebody brings you a bouquet or whatever. Um, I'm no good at growing flowers. I have no green fingers whatsoever for gardening, for pot plants, for anything. I can kill any plant really easily. Um, but actual getting flowers, I love. Pictures of flowers, I'm a bit, yeah, you know, if uh, I knew that I'd got past my childhood stage when my grandma and my great aunties started sending me pictures with flowers on instead of cute bunnies and things. So, yeah, maybe it's from that that I feel as though it's too grown up for me. <laughs> uh, oh, same toolkit again. So, yeah, yeah, three. No, it's definitely a three place of that one. And uh, yeah, the grip still, so no consistency in the uh, little toolkits there. So we have our drills again with DMC codes on. This one's got very, very creased. Let's see if we can. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, that is pretty. I love that one. So these are irises. I know what these are. These are lovely. So we've got blue ones and a purple one. Looks like we've got a butterfly. There are some. Oh, there's a ladybird there as well. Oh, there's a ladybird there. Oh, we've got a bee. Oh, look, we've got a bee. That's really pretty. The actual drill, drill field, the symbols on this are so clear. I can see this without my light pad or my magnifying glass or whatever. This is really, really good. Very impressed with these. Again, 24 colours, um, all capital letters. Can't see anything that's going to be any problem particularly no that looks pretty good to me let's just uh, flatten this out a little bit with uh, your pod glue as you possibly know if you just put them under something heavy they do flatten out and uh, once you've got your drills on they will flatten out as well your full drill ones okay very crinkled on the edge this one as well i say that's because they've stuffed six into uh, quite a small little plastic bag, small package, and then put them in a great big box to send them to me. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh, look, I love the ladybird. I don't know whether that is a ladybird. I think that's just uh, part of the flower, but that is a definite ladybird, and that is a definite bee. Okay, let's have a quick look at these drills. Oh, look, I went into that bag straight away. Yay, go me. <laughs> Lots of different colours again, 24. Nice. I'm not going to measure this because I think it looks about the same as the other one. So we're talking probably about 24, 34 uh, or 25, 35-ish rather than 35, 40, which is your drill area. Oh, long snake of colours. So we have like a maroony colour, a lovely lilac -y colour. Ooh, that's sort of a caramel chocolate colour there. This must be the background. Uh, it doesn't look like most of the background. Oh, there's little bits here that are a different colour, but most of this is this colour, which is 452. And oh, that lovely deep purple again. Look at all these greens. So there's going to be lots of nice shading in this. If you get sort of consecutive colours, you do tend to find that you get the different shades in your colour and it just makes the depth seem a little bit more and it pops a little bit more. It's a lovely dark blue. You're going to fill all your blues there. So your very dark blue, which I presume is 939. Oh, it's 18.3. So it's not quite as dark as 939. And your browns and another green and a brown. And then brown, that's that bluey grey again. I love that. Very pretty. 
and like a mauvey pinky colour and a blue and a brown. So nice colours. Right, let's get these back in this packet if we can. I'm not the best at getting them back in the packets, which is why I did stop doing it. Um, but I'm tending to find now that it's more economical to put them back into these bags than to use different bags. So sorry about the crinkling. They also store a little bit flatter as well when they go in my uh, box. So let's just do these again. And we'll call this. Oh, this is another Scotty Dog pen that I've got. Nice little ball pen. Another present from somebody. Uh, Iris. And Iris on that one. And we're 30 by 40. 30 by 40. Uh, shop. I'm still going to put Amazon. I just. That is just amazing, that name. And uh, it's on gone. My brain has definitely gone today. And again, it's round with 24 colours. It's about £1.30. Just gives me a little bit of information on these. And obviously, if I'm donating or giving away, it possibly gives them a little bit. You know, if somebody um, gets a painting and thinks, oh, I wonder where that came from. I like the quality of that. Then if you've put a label on it, then they can possibly go and have a look at the shop. Um, let's see. But not on this one, Chris. Oh, blimey, that name is so long. I'm going to keep going on about it, sorry. <laughs> okay. So I'll put that one on there. And that one on there. And we'll have a look at the last one for now. Which is... Got pretty daisies at the bottom. They do all have your little thumbnail on. Oh, this looks like it's a vase of flowers. But uh, because they are picture printed, you do get a little bit better quality and you can see the picture. Just that. They're not a bad canvas, they're like a very quite a rough background, but not too stiff. They're not like that real cardboardy stiff canvas. Um, but you know, they're a good one. Yeah, definite consistency with the toolkits there. Have we got the little mouse place yet? Yeah, just uh, hidden away there. So good toolkits. Okay, and the drills. Yeah, DMC. So all of them so far have been very consistent. Um, and exactly the same uh, uh, toolkits, drills. Because sometimes you do order from the same company, and depending on where they're getting the canvas from, they do tend to have, say, well, it looks like they've maybe used a different manufacturer or a different factory or a different print run or something, and they're not always the same. Okay. And that is very, very pretty. I'm sorry, I've no idea what those blue flowers are, but the little white flowers look like daisies to me. <laughs> they look like they're those little blue star shaped flowers, but. I don't know what they're called. I think bees like them. But that's a very, very pretty blue vase. And we've got all your highlighting because we've got the sun coming from this direction, cast, casting your shadow over that direction on a nice little garden table look. So it looks like somebody's gone out into the garden and they're picking the wildflowers or the flowers from their garden and they're putting them into the vase as they're picking them while they're outside. So, uh, yeah, I'm making up stories now. I don't know that for definite. <laughs> this one is only 23 colours. Uh, a little bit smaller key code, a little bit smaller in letters, but it is all, again, capital letters there. And, again, it says it's 30 by 40. So, yeah, we're, you know, talking about you're going to lose about five to six centimetres because of the border around the edge. Okay. So let's have a look at these drills and see what colours we've got in this one. Right. So, it, I say it is quite unusual to have the DMC codes on the actual bags, which is brilliant. So we've got creams and browns there. Quite a muted colour palette, this, considering these the right drills for this canvas. 
Why do I want a Royal Four? Yeah. Because these, you'd expect there to be more sort of blues and greens, but we look like we've got an awful lot of browns in this as well. So, oh, I suppose we've got the table down here. And a little bit of brown up here, but there seems to be quite a bit. Ooh, okay. Right. So we have that up in the maroon, a lovely peachy colour. A great, we've got that gorgeous purple again. And your sagey greens, and that's like a very pale terracotta. Browns and blue, 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 blue. Oh, yes, we have got a lot of blue. That one is 939, that's your very dark blue. And your peaches again, and your dark browns, and that's a sort of a browny terracotta. And your sort of plummy colours, and blues, and oh, peppermint cream green, and a very, very pale peach. Okay. Always fascinates me where the colours on a diamond painting go. You know, you look at them and yeah, it's that colour. Why would you have that colour in this painting? And then when it actually goes on, they say, oh, yeah, that's where it goes. Aha. Let's pop the rules away. Okay. Pull that over. on this one these are the last of my labels I've printed out myself so I will be using um, I'm going to call this Daisy Vaz I will be using the ones I've bought from Rebecca uh, I still keep wanting to say for kids at 147 but she's Rebecca Admore Zest okay, 40 and I'm still going to put Amazon <laughs> Uh, £1.30 and it's around and this one is only 23 colours 23 colours and it is ZY004 ZY104 okay so let's peel this off here yeah, I find that these stickers were really difficult to get off the backing paper unless you sort of like did them from the edge and this one's proving to be particularly difficult. So that's why I cut them once I've written them out. So that goes on that one and that goes on that one. Get rid of that bit of paper. So we have had a flower vase. We have had the irises, which are gorgeous, and then we've had the butterfly again. I bet you're sick of seeing that butterfly, but it will be interesting to see them done. Okay, well, I hope you've enjoyed this first part of this unboxing. Uh, if you have, a thumbs up is always much appreciated. And if you want to come back and see what I get up to next and possibly have worked on some of these, then if you press the subscribe button in the corner and the all notifications bell at the top of it, you'll be notified when any of my videos come up. So thanks for stopping by and I do hope to see you all again soon.